Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an eye tutorial using the Morphe 350 palette. Um, I just got it not that long ago, so I've been really eager and excited to make a tutorial using this. Um, so this is the look that I came up with. And yeah, I mean, I definitely recommend the palette. I've used it like 10 times. The quality is just amazing. I love it. Pigmentation is perfect. They blend easily. The quality is just there all the way. So I do recommend it. Um, I hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, so to start off this eye look, I'm going to take my Morphe 350 palette, which I just got not that long ago. We're going to take this really bright orange shade here and I'm going to use my Smith 232 blending brush which looks like this so I'm gonna take this color and the pigmentation is really awesome with these so you don't want to pick up too much because then uh, yeah it's just gonna be a mess better to pick up a little bit at a time and build the color up because it's easier to get the shade you want that way than to pick up too much color and then have to tone it down that's that's a lot harder to do so what I'm doing is I'm placing it here and focusing it on the outer corner of my crease and basically I'm just making like a triangle shape more like a cat eye shape like that so now that I have the shape, I'm going to just blend it out and I'm going to bring the color up a little bit more so that you don't have a harsh line here. You want this to be really blended. Then I'm going to bring it over to the middle of the lid and you don't want to keep this color too low but you don't want it all the way up to your brow. So. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up my second color. So the second color I'm gonna use is um, this center color here. It's an orange red shade. It's really pretty. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm just gonna place this under that orange color more focused on my actual crease so I want this color to blend into the orange shade but I still want the orange shade to show so I'm not blending it too high I'm just really moving my brush in small circles because I want to keep the color where I put it and not really blend too far up Okay, so now we're gonna take the same color we just used, which again is the center red-brown shade, and I'm gonna take a pencil brush, and the one I'm using is by Coastal Sense. There's no number on it, but this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna pick this up, and I'm just gonna go and blend this under my eyes.
Okay, so now what you wanna do is you wanna take a little bit of concealer. I'm using the Born This Way Too Faced Concealer in the shade Light, but just any concealer would do. And I put a little bit on the back of my hand and I'm taking my concealer brush, which is the MAC 195 brush. And so I picked up a little bit of product, not too much because then this will get messy and you just want to create a nice um, smooth base so you don't want too much concealer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start right here, so not at the beginning of my eye. I guess if that's how... I don't know how to explain this very well. But I'm going to start right here and I'm going to carve out a crease, sort of. But I don't want to take it all the way out this way, so I want to keep it from here to here. And then I'm going to blend the concealer down. Then whatever's left, I'm going to blend it out to the sides. So that's what that should look like. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my MAC 239 brush, which is just a packing brush. So you can take any packing brush and you want to pick up your next color. So for the lid, we're going to use this cranberry color here at the bottom. So I'm going to pick it up and I'm really just going to pack this on my brush. I want a lot of pigmentation for the lid. So you just want to pick up some eyeshadow like this. Just pack that color on there and then you want to spray it with some Fix Plus or water or whatever you have um, so that the color is super intense. And I'm going to start right where we created that line. And I'm going to start packing it there first. And then you just are going to work that product down and to the sides. Now I'm going to pick up more. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with my Smith 232 brush and I'm going to take a darker shade of brown. So I'm gonna do this third one on the bottom, this one here. I'm gonna pick up just a little bit and I just want to make the crease a little darker. So we're gonna just focus this right where the cranberry color meets the other shade, um, that red brown shade. And then I'm lightly bringing it over. So. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same with the other side. So there's still concealer on the back of my hand. I'm just picking up a light layer of it. Now, we are fine. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna take another packing brush. This one uh, that I'm gonna use is from Urban Decay. It's just a flat brush. I'm gonna use this to pack the my highlight color in the tear duct. So for that, I'm going to use um, this shade here. So it's the third one over and it has kind of like a pink tint to it. I don't know if you could see it on the camera or not, but it's like a pink, a light pink shimmery color. So I'm just gonna pack that on my brush and then I'm gonna spray it. And then I'm gonna place this here in the inner corner, all right here where there's no color. That's where I wanna focus this. Then I also wanna place this color right under my eyebrow at the highest point. So I'm basically just carving out my brow a little bit with this. Okay, for eyeliner, I'm gonna use the Smolder Eye Coal by MAC. And I'm just gonna put that in my waterline. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the MAC 219 pencil brush. And it's clean, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna blend out that eye coal with the shadow we have under the waterline. Okay, now with the same brush, I'm just gonna go and pick up that red brown color that we were using under here to the very center color, and I'm just gonna add that back in. Okay, so with whatever's left on my concealer brush, I'm just gonna kinda, I guess, clean up the eyeshadow. So just with whatever's left, which is hardly anything. So I don't know if you guys can see, but I cleaned up this line a little bit. And I'm gonna do the same over here. And for eyeliner, I'm gonna use the MAC 263 brush, which is just a really thin, um, I guess, eyeliner brush, but I use this on my eyebrows. Um, and then the Black Track Gel Liner by MAC. Okay, 